Hey guys, Fuzzy Knop here. Uh, this is part three of uh, turning Mac OS X into a pen test platform. So in this episode, I'm going to talk about how to install Metasploit uh, on your Mac. So we should already have Nmap, and now we're going to add Metasploit. Um, so to get and install Metasploit, you're going to need to go to www.metasploit.com slash download, uh, or Google search uh, get you there. Um, but if you look on this web page, I mean, they say it's Mac compatible, but if you look here, you don't see anything that says Mac compatible or Mac or anything. But this um, this Unix one with the big X on it is actually what uh, what we want. It's not the Linux one, it's the Unix one. So if you hit download here, you're going to get a uh, .tar.bz2, which, uh, which should be okay. It's going to open up with archive utility. So you can go ahead and hit uh, save or... I would say save and um, get a download. I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to waste my time waiting for that. And let's see, I threw it here on the desktop, but go to wherever it downloaded, double click it. It should open up with the archive utility and start unpacking. If um, I think archive utility comes with the operating system, if it doesn't, um, go ahead and download it, or you may have something. Um, like that already does this. If not, uh, Stuff It Expander will also work, but anything to just unpack this file. Uh, I can't remember if Archive Utility was something that's pre-installed or something that I downloaded. It's been so long. So anyways, once it unarchives, you're going to get a folder called msf3, I believe. And it's not ready yet, so we'll just we'll wait. But, um, Basically, you'll just navigate to this MSF3 folder, and you can run Metasploit from there. And you'll do that from the uh, terminal. I'll show you in a second as soon as it finishes. Now, uh, according to Rapid7, who develops Metasploit, they want you to have Ruby 1.9. Um, Mac OS X 10.6 comes with uh, Ruby 1.8 already. So if you want to get Ruby 1.9, now I didn't, and everything's been working okay. But if you want to get Ruby 1.9, you can say um, sudo port install Ruby 1.9, just like that. And it will go ahead and grab it for you. If you want to check and see what you have, you can type port contents, let me make that bigger, port contents Ruby 1.9. And you can see here, it's not installed. Um, but that's just me. You may want to go ahead and do that if things aren't working for you. Uh, like I said, things were working okay for me, so it's not broke, don't fix it, right? So as you can see, you get an MSF3 folder. Now what I recommend doing to make it easier to get here is to throw this folder in the root directory. Now the way you get there is um, click on your hard drive. Now if you click on the hard drive, I called mine iDisk, you may have called it something different, but in here this is actually like the root directory. So if you're in terminal, I'm going to grab a different color, I think that grass one's pretty easy to see. Right? If you're in terminal and you type cd slash, now here we are in the root directory. Now you type ls, there's a bunch of junk in there, but one of the things is, because I put it there already, the msf3. Otherwise you'd have to, to type out the full path to get to your desktop, uh, you don't want it there. So throw it in the root directory, makes things a lot quicker. So that way anytime you open up a terminal you can type cd slash msf3 start going to town. Now, once I'm in MSF3, let me minimize this other window so it looks a bit better. There we go. So once you're in the MSF3 folder, you can type ls just like on a Linux box to, to get a list of what's in there. So you can see that this is what comes with uh, Metasploit. Now, the thing you're going to be interested in is the MSF console. But there's also a thing called MSF update. Let's see it, uh, I'm pointing to my screen, you can't see that, geez. So there's an MSF update right here, right there, see that? Now you're going to want to execute that, so I'm pretty sure we type dot slash MSF update, and it's actually going to update Metasploit. Now this takes, uh, this takes quite some time, so I'm going to stop it, but you're going to want to let this go. Um, Basically, like every time you use it, um, because what it's going to do is it's going to go out 
it's going to grab the latest exploits and payloads and all that. So if you don't have the newest one, you're not really getting everything. So that MSF update is going to be a big thing. And again, that's dot slash MSF update. Once you've updated, you're going to want to type dot slash MSF console. Now, one thing you can do that is really uh, interesting is when you have terminal selected, terminal, I believe you can go to preferences. Now, I'm just trying to remember here. Uh, Metasploit Frameworks takes a while to, to, to launch, so kind of killing some time. But you can go in and you can uh, edit the properties on your Mac for each of the terminal windows. And one of the big things you can do, and this will take grass, is you can go to um, shell and you can make it run a command at startup. Now I think I had did it on one of these. Yeah, so on, under the pro one, I went to shell and I hit run command and I typed slash msf3 slash dot slash msf console run inside shell. So that way, anytime I open up a pro shell from terminal, it's going to automatically run the MSF console and uh, bring me into Metasploit. So you can see, like, I, I launched a pro command and it had already executed that. So it saves me typing one line. Uh, it's just a neat little thing that I found. You may want to do that, you may not. But anyway, as you can see in the background here, Metasploit's loaded up and it's yelling at me because it's been nine days since I updated. But um, you're given the Metasploit Framework prompt, and we can start using Metasploit Framework. Now, if you're unsure of what Metasploit Framework is or how to use it, uh, it's not too much sense in me making a tutorial when the uh, Metasploit Framework Unleashed tutorials are out there. You can type uh, MSFU, and it's like the first one. So you can find it. It's Metasploit uh, Framework Unleashed. You can find it there. But this website's going to take you through everything in, in Metasploit. I had talked about this in another video. Um, but it, it's going to tell you all about launching MSF Console. This is what we were doing. It's going to tell you about how to uh, maneuver in it. So this is definitely like a good place to start with Metasploit. Um, so that's all for this video tutorial. Not sure what we're going to cover in the next one, but uh, if you want updated, go ahead and subscribe. Otherwise, uh, have a good one. Thanks.